So what we have left for now is welcome back to another episode of We Rebuilds. Today we're back again with the 2018 Audi A5. Let's get into it. After watching the live the other day, you can see that we did get this Audi A5 inside the garage. So now, you know, we could start pulling it apart some more. But even before I want to touch this thing, I still need to take the engine and transmission out of that Ford Escape. I've not been saying that. I just haven't got the time. But I wanted to get this inside of the garage since it's getting colder. And, you know, at least we know we have it inside of the garage. We stuff a heater in here and then we could just get to work. But, anyways, don't forget to like, share, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends, your families, and even your enemies. Because remember, our haters are our biggest supporters. So just remember that, okay? And the next thing is that uh, what we want to talk about is just make sure, hey, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you don't like the video, hit that thumbs down. Drop a comment. And when we're on live, and make sure you turn your post notifications on because you can see everything that we got going on on the channel. Even when we hit the live, even when we do a regular video, or even when we drop a YouTube short so you can see what's going on with the channel. But anyways, what we got here today, we're, we started doing some pulling down of some of the plastic pieces. I want y'all to see everything that we started to pull down so far because we did that live like the day before, I want to say. But anyways, let's hop straight into this video so you can see what got, we got going on. As you can see, uh, we made sure to pull down some of these pieces already. It's mostly all the broken pieces that is on this car. So I made sure to pull off all the broken pieces. We've, we've been doing that for the past few days. What we're trying to do next is basically Take, I want to say this part, we're just, I'm going to just get the saw and cut it cut it off. And then the saw to cut this piece off so we can get that out of the way. Um, I'm just trying to get any little miscellaneous pieces off. We still got to, we know we have a whole bunch of suspension work over here to just to get it off. And then what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try to lift it off the floor for a, a little bit. What we'll be doing next is we're probably going to lift the car up off the floor once you lift the car up off the floor we're gonna kind of like because we kind of i kind of want to uh, do some sweeping and then just kind of clean up inside of the garage and then put something under these tires so that i don't have these tire markings i, I need to find out what i could use to, to basically get those those tire markings off the floor but anyways that's what you get when you have white epoxy and I'm also gonna do another live soon because our other regulator on the Ford Escape um, is, is is messed up now. So we got more content for that as well. So what I'm gonna do for now is we're gonna start pulling down some more stuff off this car, see what else we could get pulled down and then we go from there. So let's go. This is all broken as you can see. And now that we know it's all broken, what we're gonna do is just start pulling it down. We're just gonna start pulling it down. And then, cause all the plastic broken pieces I'm taking off. Now, the fan itself, I probably still keep because I think the, the blade, the, the fan blades are still good. It's just the outer shell of it is basically bad, so. And all the the radiator pieces that are that are broken broken on it. So well, I'm gonna start doing that right now. So let's go. All right. So behind here you have a clip, right? And then the, the clip behind here. What you want to do is check right to see if the clip, because that's what's holding it in. So what I'm gonna do is try to push this clip up and then see if that's gonna have me be able to slide it out. And then once I be able to slide this out, I could just get the whole fan out basically. And then the, you, we already said the radiator is trash already because it's all broken up. But any little things that I could save off this, I, I'm gonna save. What we can't, we're just gonna throw away. Cause remember, 
This is just a parts car that we're just selling for parts. Uh, some of the small things I might keep, like maybe these little pieces right here, because just in case if the other, the S5 that we have need those stuff, we have those stuff to put on to that S5. Let's keep working. Once you push that clip down, you just slide it out. And then we do it on the other side, but you remember the bottom of the other, other side is broken. So we don't have nothing to, that's holding on to it. So it should just be able to slide out. So you can see a little bit of damage from that, from the fan. So as you can see, once you're looking at everything, you could see that just the bottom shell that is actually broken and the fan itself is good. Good. So, and you already heard it spinning the other day when we try to put power onto the car. So now we know, we know, we definitely know that the fan works. Uh, what I, what I am going to do though is I'm going to lo loosen these three bolts and then I'm just going to throw away the rest of the plastic shell because I mean it's broken or I might keep it but you notice this other piece is broken these pieces are broken down here so it doesn't make sense to keep those so all I'm doing right now I'm gonna just pull pull these four these three bolts and get that off try to damage this fan anymore. All right, so those are the three. Now we're gonna separate the two. All right, so now that we got that separated, we just move these wires. Got it off. Got that fan out. See, there's no cracks, no breaks or nothing. The clip is still good. And the connectors. So we're just gonna set this aside. That pulls this one, so we're gonna pull this one off because I think on the other Audi, I I did think think I have it on it, maybe, maybe not, but we're just taking off all the extra stuff that we might need, and we don't might we might not necessarily need it, but yeah, that's the only thing I need off this, I want to say because. Everything else I have, I've already set up the other um, S5 with it. All right, so it's out. This is going in the trash, and then we're gonna move on to more. We got this one Freon hose because uh, as you see the condenser is All right, got some water in there, or is it oil? Yeah, it is oil. So we got some, some yeah, so we got some oil in there. Now that is off, so now that the oil is out. Yes, so now that we, we fully got the condenser out, but you could see all the damages on it. And there's a couple pieces of metal that is bent, but I'm not too sure if we're gonna keep it, but we're just gonna set it aside for now. That's about it, honestly, that I see. But yeah, we're gonna, I don't know if I'll keep it. We probably have to check it to see if it's good. I doubt it though. I doubt it's good. But um, I'll just set it aside, if, if anything. But I doubt, I think this belongs in the trash as well. We're gonna, put, we're gonna set it aside for now. This is trash. We're just gonna take the rubber piece out. I don't even think this rubber piece is good. Anyways, we have some coolant. 
on the floor. All right, so we're gonna have that coolant leak leak out on that um shirt that we have on the floor. This, I think, we end up bending it from when we're pushing it off the, the truck. So we're gonna take that off right now as well. So the next thing that next we're about to do, we have a 16 right here with the extension. I'm gonna take off the reinforcement bar or the crash bar for some people. So we're gonna take that off right now and then see. We the only thing we have to worry about is this one wire right here. Uh, we could probably get it off. And this wire is for the ambient temperature sensor. That's that's what this wire is right here for. This is the ambient temperature sensor right here. And then we attach to the, and then the harness goes to the back of the back of right here where it's attached to the ground and the airbag sensor that's right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these first and then we take it off. So it's still T30 to use the to pull this fastener or this bolt off. All right, the next thing I have right here, I think it's, this feels like a 10. Or we can use that to take off the whole horn itself. Or we'll just move the horn out of the way. So, I think it's, I think it's a 10. It's not, so, well, probably a 12 then so I guess I'm wrong so I'm gonna go for a 12 and we start doing what we need to all right all this wire with the ambient temperature sensor and all this harness I'm gonna just set it right over here so that can't go anywhere and then so now we should be able to just remove those four bolts on each side and then once we remove those four bolts from each side then we should be able to get it off we have the next impact we're going to take it off right now so we're about to start pulling use it and pull these four bolts off One, that's two. I will leave that top one. That's three, and then put y'all over there so y'all could see what I'm going to do. that everything kind of shifted or moved so we're done with this side now what we got going on is but this side you can clearly see that this piece is pushed back that way so this is the same socket that we used to pull off the wrist but it looks like a 17 might work. So we're gonna try that and see it. All right, so the 17 did work to get it off. Now we're about to take it off. See that we're about to put it straight off right now. All right. 
zone. So you can see this side might have a little bit of damage from that plastic piece but that side you can definitely see that it's bent and it's broken because look see how right here is so you know this piece and then did a little hole so it basically cracked and came off so it's going in the trash I might take the bolts out and then you can see a crack right here so this side which is we already know that the impact came on this side of the car anyway now we have everything where we need it and everything where we can see it and we can tell like hey now we have the space that we want to look at everything and then now all we think we need, probably need to do is like trace some of those wires back into its correct sections and so on now that we got that done we know we have exposed everything and we know what we need to do next now the other thing is we could start getting the car up in the air so we could get to this side of things and then look at all the suspension pieces that are definitely broken so we won't have to take this wheel off uh, before I do that though what I'm gonna do is take the other parts that I need, what that that other extra pieces or parts, and then see if we can take off the extra bolts and whatever, and then we just start throwing out those rest of extra stuff. All right, so we got a good amount of stuff removed. So since we have all that stuff removed, uh, that is gonna be it for this episode on We Rebuild. But. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hey, and don't forget to share this video to your haters as well. Because remember, they are our biggest motivators, okay? But anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one. And then one more thing, don't forget, stay positive, stay motivated. We are out.